have some beads for you. Mardi Gras, right around the corner. There you go, Mike. <laughs> oh, good catch. And we're making our own king cake in the studio this morning, a mini version of a king cake with our friend Crafty McGee. We know her as Crafty McGee. Uh, she's also known as Elizabeth McGee. <laughs> And uh, good morning to you. Good morning. Now, I mean, this is a surefire recipe. Are you kidding me? We can make our own little cinnamon roll this king cake is, any time of the year. Yeah, this is so easy. The traditional king cake is made out of breads, mm -hmm. a sweet bread, and it's really time intensive. So this is a way that here in Louisville we can celebrate easily, no fuss, um, just use cinnamon rolls. It comes with the icing and the dough, so you're all set. You don't love cinnamon rolls. Exactly. I know I do, Elizabeth. All right, let's yeah. get started. So you want to take one of the cinnamon rolls, mm -hmm. and we're going to make like a Pac-Man sort okay. of shape out of it. Okay. And then just keep stretching it mm -hmm. until it's flat and kind of pull it apart. And so these two cinnamon rolls that we stretch out mm -hmm. are going to become one king cake. Oh. So then you would twist together the uh -huh. ends of each piece of dough. Uh -huh. So you can twist that with one of these ends. Oh, you put them together? Yeah, you're putting them together. Okay. And then you just kind of twist it around and loop it. Like so? Into a circle, yes, okay. just like that. And then you would bake these in the oven on um, using the instructions from the packaging. Mm -hmm. My packaging was 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 13 minutes. I have a tendency to put things in the oven and forget, so make sure you set your timer yes. unless you want yes. a burnt cinnamon roll king cake. And after they cook, they will look like this. Mm -hmm. Very beautiful. If you want to um, go ahead and pick one to put the baby in. So the baby is a charm. And um, the person who gets the baby in their cake has to make the next king cake for the next party. Okay. So you can hide it in there, turn it over, and um, this is just the icing from Can't the packaging. Can't tell where it is, except for that part. <laughs> yeah. Looks like. Looks good. Yeah, a little piece of the baby might be coming out of the top. But That's whatever, fine. we're going to cover it with icing. Yeah. It's still going to work. And Nobody you're going to do the sprinkles. So okay. you're using purple, gold, and green, which are the traditional colors of Mardi Gras. Don't be stingy. Put no. me some more icing on icing there, Icing is the best part, right? Okay. So you want to sprinkle it before the icing dries, mm -hmm. um, sets up. And if your icing is too hard, you can pop it in the microwave for about 10 seconds just yeah. to make it easier to drizzle over the king cake. Elizabeth, this is a great idea. I know, and this is so easy. Anybody can do this at home, any time of year, just like you said. All right, tell us about your blog briefly. You have other great craft ideas on your blog. Yeah, um, my blog can be found at craftymcgee.com. Mm -hmm. I think there's a link also on the WDRB website. I have different projects free for anybody to use and make their own stuff at home. All right. Elizabeth, thank you so much for coming on thank the show. You. I love your ideas when you come on. Thank you. And as she said, you can find more information on our website, wdrb.com.